सो लेट एस से दैट आई हैव बीन गिवन एन अरे ऑफ साइज एन एंड नाउ यू हैव बीन गिवन एन इंटीजर के ओके सो वट आई हैव टू डू इज आई हैव टू फाइंड वट इज द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ स्वैप्स required to bring all the elements that are lesser than or equal to k together minimum number of swaps that i should do to bring all the elements of array which are lesser than or equal to k together by together i mean in the same chunk they should be in the same contiguous subarray swap you know what is the meaning of swap right changing ai with aj where aj where j and i are different indices yeah you can swap anything with anything that's totally up to you you can swap anything with anything okay so uh, let us take a uh, yeah sample test case so let us say my array contains elements like uh, 2 1 5 6 3 and the value of k is equal to 3 tell me what is the minimum number of swaps that you would do in this array to bring all the elements lesser than equals to 3 together second line cannot read okay second line says that what is the minimum number of swaps required to bring all the elements that are lesser than equals to k together so how many elements are lesser than equals to 3 in this array how many elements are lesser than equals to 3 there are three elements right and what are those elements 2 1 and 3 so what is the minimum number of swaps that you would want to do to bring 2 1 and 3 together just one swap is enough uh, are you saying that you will swap 5 with 3 that is right because if you swap 5 with 3 you will get 2 1 3 6 5 5 and this 2 1 3 3 has all these elements together i am not at all worried about their permutation they can be 2 1 3 1 2 3 1 3 2 whatever i do not worry about that they should simply be together that's it that's all i need and they can be together in any subarray in the first subarray second array anything are you getting the point that i am trying to make so someone said uh, partition process of quick sort uh, will it really help think about that will it really help will it ensure that the number of swaps that have happened are minimum so i'll not get into more details of partition because there can be some guys who might not be aware of quick sort i would say maybe think something like uh, sliding window because i just taught you sliding window so think if that could be helpful take another example let's say the array contains 2 7 9 5 8 7 4 and let's say k is equal to 5 what will be the answer for this case 2 right it should be 2 so what are you thinking uh, i guess the elements that are smaller than equals to 5 are 2 5 and 4 right so i think what you can do is you can swap this 2 with 8 that will bring this to here and then you can swap this 4 with this so these are the two swaps that you would do to which 5 2 and 4 will come together of course there are another styles also to perform these two swaps but you cannot do lesser than two swaps yeah so you are right the approach you are saying that will work guys did everyone understand this that why two swaps is the minimum number of swaps required over here you cannot do lesser than two swaps yeah so what nag sitaram has to say that is uh, so everyone read what he has written just go through his statement let's say uh the value of k was something like uh, 4 okay and in your array you had some elements that were uh, lesser than equals to 4 and those were let's say 4 uh 3 3 1 3 3 you had some more elements okay and then you had one more element over here too you can assume that all these elements were greater than 4 all these elements were greater than 4 and you can assume all these elements were also greater than 
So if you know this state of the array, can you immediately tell me the answer? What will be the answer in this case? Yes, lesser than equals to k, right? The answer in this case should be one, right? And what is that uh, one unit of swap that you are talking about? Are you saying that you will swap this two with the element that was here? Is that what you are saying? I think that is what you are saying, right? So all of you do realize one thing that it does not make sense to move these elements closer to this. Rather, it makes sense to move this element closer to this set of elements. So this is the first point to be understood. Second point to understand is that let's say what I do, I find the count of elements that are smaller than equals to k. If let's say the count of elements that are smaller than equals to k, this count is equals to count. Can I say that whatever chunk I will get, the size of that chunk will be equal to this count? Can I say that? I can say, right? So the size of that subarray will be equal to this count. Now what I can do is that in the original array, I will inspect all the subarrays whose size are equal to count. All the subarrays of size count. So if let's say there is a subarray, there is a subarray, okay, of size count, in which the number of elements which are smaller than equals to k, that is exactly equal to count. Can I immediately return zero? I can do that, right? Because what does k denote? k denotes the total number of elements. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. What does count denote? Count denotes the total number of elements that are legal elements, which are smaller than equals to k. Okay. And if all those elements are in one chunk of size count, that means all those elements are already together and my job is done. Right. But now think of it in this case that if at all there is a chunk of size count where let's say uh, of this is of size count and then let's say the count was equals to six and the number of elements uh, which were legal which were lesser than equals to k let's say four were three so let's say you had a four and then you had four and then you had one so to make sure that all these six elements comes in this chunk how many swaps would you want to do how many swaps would you want to do? Would it be equal to count minus number of legal elements? Can I say that? It will be equal to count minus number of legal elements, right? Because what is count? Count is equal to the size of that subarray. And if let's say there are some legal elements, then let them be there. And the other positions should now be filled up by other legal elements which are located somewhere else. So let us take a quick example. I mean, this is not a tough thing to understand. You should have understood it like that. So let's say you have uh, something like this. Okay. And let's say your K is equal to five. Yeah. Tell me uh, what, what will be the value of count over here? How many elements are there in the array which are smaller than equals to five? There are three elements that are smaller than equals to five. Okay. So if at all those three elements, which are two, five and four have to come together, they will come together in a subarray of size three. So you can first consider this subarray. Okay. And in this subarray, you can check that how many legal elements are there. Okay. What is the number of legal elements over here? That is just one. So how many swaps are required over here? Number of swaps required is equal to count minus number of legal elements, which is two. Now, when you slide this window, do you need to count the number of legal elements in this again? Whenever you slide your window by one unit, do you need to count the number of legal uh, elements again? Guys, think, please, this is not a tough thing. This is very easy. Because if you slide it by one unit, one element comes and one element goes. Now, the element that goes, if that is the legal element, then you will... Uh, reduce your legal count by one and if the element that comes that is a legal element you will plus this thing by one so you can change the legal count 
for next subarray in order one time by just inspecting the element that is going and the element that is coming. So you have legal count for this and now you know that what is the legal count for this? Legal count for this is 1. Okay. And so the size of this is 3. So how many swaps required? 3 minus 1, 2. Keep tracking the minimum of this thing. Whatever will be the minimum of this thing, that would be your eventual answer. Okay, what is the time complexity? What is the time complexity? This is simply order n, right? Because first window you will get in order x time where x is the number of elements. And then you will slide every time by one unit. And how many slides will you do? n minus x slides. And every time you are sliding, you are just doing order one word. So x works initially and n minus x works later is order n, not order n into k. Will you get it? Because you don't pre-compute the number, you don't re-compute the number of legal elements in next window again. You just get to know that in order of one time. But to check if an element is legal, it will take order k. No, 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 not at all. Why? To check if an element is legal or not, if you move this window from here to here, this is the element that is coming. You just have to check whether this incoming element is smaller than equals to k or not. Is this order k? Is this thing order k? Got it? So when you welcome a new element, you just perform a lesser than equals to check. And please do not forget to get rid of the element that you are kicking out from your window. The element that is being kicked out, check if that was a legal element or not. If it was a legal element, you will reduce your count. And if the new incoming element is a legal element, you will increase your count. So you will always have the correct legal count. And when you have the correct legal count and you have the size of array with you, then you know how many swaps are possible. You understand the reason why this approach will work, right? Because we all agreed that if at all there is a window in which there are already some legal elements, please do not disturb those legal elements. Simply talk about those elements which are legal and somewhere else. So number of swaps will just be equal to those elements and that will also be equal to the number of illegal elements within this particular window. Okay. So guys, let me tell you one thing. All the questions that we have done today, none of them is implementation heavy. They are not implementation heavy. Those are easy medium questions that can be asked in interview. They are not hard questions at all. 